Good day everyone and welcome to another midweek crafting. Is it midweek? Yes, it's midweek crafting nights here at Mommy Guide Inc. For those who are new to my channel, I am Mommy Lala. Yes, I, you know, this day has been too tiring. I actually forgot what time it is. We actually didn't go live tonight because I had super duper tech issues. So bear with us. I hope that this doesn't bother us for the rest of the night. But whatever happens, if something happens and I can't go live, we transfer to Tina One Kenobi's channel. All right. But hopefully everything will be fine. So tonight we're going to be doing alcohol ink coloring. We've done uh, alcohol ink uh, uh, art in the past. Okay, last year I think we did it twice, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so, but normally what we usually use it for is to create nice backgrounds, like I, like alcohol ink arts that we would want to create something like what KM Heartmate does, no? But for tonight, it's a different kind. In the sense that we're not going to be making backgrounds, but rather we're going to use the alcohol uh, inks to actually color in our, uh, the, our stamp images. Again, this is inspired by Nenet Samson Madero's video on her um, YouTube channel. Okay, hold on. My Little Attic Studio. Oh, there. Nagbabental na ang lola niya. My Little Attic Studio. Alright. So, of course, ang gagamitin natin is Altenew Alcohol Inks. Yes. In the past, what we used were Ranger Alcohol Inks. Okay, so somehow, if you are into alcohol ink art, okay, you, uh, please wait because in the future, I think it's gonna be Today is due. Okay, probably in a month or so. Okay, we will be having one of the people in the chat, Nathan's Art of Distraction, on the show, and he's gonna do something similar. Okay, but this time around with the use of acrylic, it's called fluid art. Right? So look out and watch out for that. We're gonna post it uh, pretty soon so that you can set remind. And so that you don't miss that episode again this is this episode is in collaboration with my little attic studio in terms of um, they gave us the um, the paper for us to be able to um, create this uh, project tonight and of course the inspiration for what we're going to do tonight and because of lack of time they also sent this isopropyl 99% isopropyl alcohol which is what we're going to use what we're supposed to use for alcohol ink art hindi siya, uh, hindi siya pwede yung 70% or less okay it's best talaga that one okay yan yung recommended okay kind of alcohol all right so joining me tonight is my dear crafty friend Tina Wan Kenobi hi Tina Ay, laki. <laughs> Hi everyone, good evening. How are you? Hold on, hold on. Bakit nga ba ang laki mo? <laughs> Sorry naman, my dear. Ayan, ayan. Ilayo naman natin ng konti mang aking dear friend. Ayan. As I said, diba, we've been having awesome, awesome. Okay, uh, awesome ba? Nakakainis na tech issues. Alright. So, okay, tanggalin muna natin to. Palitan na ito, ito ng... No one can know me. There you go. All right. So let's say hi first to everybody in the chat. Magre relax lang ako. Sobra ako talaga na stress, guys. Akala ko hindi na kayo makakapasok. All right. Of course, we have Nathan. Hi, Nathan. Uh, there you go. Saying hi first to everybody. And of course, Sistina, double duty. Saying hi to everybody in the chat. And Batchmate Marie, hello. Queen B, salamat so much for dropping by. Oo, hindi ako nakapagpaset. Remind kanina, sobrang busy talaga. Dokri, good day everyone! And of course, KM! Hello, hello! Good evening everyone from Super Floop. Ayan. Thank you so much everyone for greeting each other. Hello and hi for tonight. Thank you Sir Norman for sharing Super Floop. That's how I dance. <laughs> hello, sis KM, is Marie and Nathan. Creative Handcraft. Creative Handcraft, hello, hello. Ma'am, kailan ka ba namin ma-invite? Excited na kami sa iyong mga stencils. 
Alright, and of course, sprinkle with cards, Ms. Zell. Ms. Zell, kailan natin papapick up ang ating mga prizes here? Ayan. Hi, Norman! Ayan. Everybody saying hi to everybody again. Exciting demo from the fine art of distraction. Yes, KM, pretty soon. Okay, we're, we already have a date set already. So, um, I just need to send Nathan the, uh, the details. But I'm super duper excited as well. Congratulations, by the way, Nathan. For that event that you had earlier this week, last Monday. Alright. Hi, Sis Jel from KM. Ayan. Hello po, Miss Marie. Hello, Sis KM. Yay, Tina. Hello, yes, Art. Magandang gabi, kapatid. Lovely smile, Miss Tina. Blooming, yes, always. <laughs> Crystal and the L. Hello. Thank you so much, Matets TV, for uh, the raid. Ayan. Nandito pa ang mga galing sa... Ah, okay, Matets TV. Yes, part din po ako ng kanilang community. Maraming maraming salamat. Irene, Ja. Thank you, Miss Matet. Ayan. Salamat, salamat po. Okay. I'm outside trying to listen po. Okay, Miss Liza. Thank you so much. And Igorotak, mega mega love. Shout out. Okay, excited much for your GLS. And Roy. Hello, Roy. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much, Roy, for dropping by. Ay, ang ganda naman ng ano ni Igorotak na ito. Ayan, good evening then everyone, sabi ni Miss Liza. Ayan. Ayan, ang dami talaga. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Ayan, last na. Kung free ka tomorrow, Mami Lala, pa-pick up ko. Yes, yes, of course, Miss Zell. Ayan. Thank you. Yes, Fluid Stock was so much fun. Yes, I actually watched it. Hello pa, Super Floop and hi, Zell. Alright, guys, finally. <laughs> okay, nakahinga. Hinga. All right. Okay. So what we did, okay, um alcohol art itong gagamit ay no, not alcohol art. Alcohol ink, okay, is what we use for tonight's episode. Used kasi what Tina and I did was to meet earlier and record the the what do you call this? The work through. Okay? Because Tina has uh, issues with alcohol uh, uh, ink. Okay, she has allergies to the smell. And so, if we do it inside the studio, a.k.a. my bedroom, <laughs> she might, you know, um, have allergic reactions. So, we decided to do it outdoors in my veranda earlier. And then, she just rushed off to her home. And, and I rushed to edit so that you can watch it tonight. <laughs> Alright? So, and then basically, we'll go back after we've seen what we've done. We go back and assemble it into a card all right so for those who don't know or who are not familiar okay alcohol ink is a kind of ink that uses alcohol medium in basically all its processes or techniques specifically um you need to have a 99 isopropyl alcohol like this one okay um to make it flow Okay, you can also add mixatives and others, okay? But for tonight, what we're going to do is just use it as a coloring uh, media or tool. Um, I've attached a link to Nenet's actual uh, YouTube video of how she did it, okay? So, Tina and I tried to do it, okay? I, disclaimer, I nor Tina are not alcohol ink. Uh, artist or nor are we you know very far i've used it maybe twice thrice all right so and just you really just playing through with the colors not really coming up with any any specific project so tonight will be the first so bear with us so we will learn together alongside you so team bahai winner gets a 500 piece piso peso gc okay to my little attic all you need to do is submit Okay, an alcohol art, if, if, okay, you have alcohol ink, okay, in your uh, stash, maybe this is the time for you to be able to actually use it. This time, just for coloring. Alright, so, what are the things that you will need? Okay, we will show in the video. So, let's start! Okay, wait lang po kasi medyo matagal siyang mag-transition. Come on, there you go. So, you're seeing my hand. Okay. 
my hands. Okay. Okay. Saglit lang po kasi nawawala. Minsan yung camera ko dyan. Alright? So, um, safety precautions. Uh, best to do this kind of, uh, when you use alcohol ink, to do it uh, in a place where there is, you know, open air. Okay? So, open your windows. Huwag kulob yung place. Okay? Because the alcohol... Uh, in the alcohol ink can be really irritating. As have been, have been mentioned several times already by uh, you know what the best alcohol ink artist in the Philippines, KM Heartmade. There you go. All right. So what you see here is basically me just um, showing you the different um, alcohol inks. There again. Sorry about the the issue with my camera. Okay, I think it was the wire. So. I was just trying to put, okay, um, alcohol ink and then added a mixative. That's a snow cap, I think. And then added alcohol. I just wanted to see, you know, okay. Um, this one, I'm using Altenew. The ones I used in the past were all Ranger. And one thing I, you know, I can say that is different is that Altenew... Um, I actually didn't use any mask because I was outdoors and there was barely, actually, if there was alcohol there, I barely smelled it. Um, it was, um, it was really, really good as an experience. I, I am opposite to my experience with using Ranger um, alcohol ink. It was, uh, you know, the smell and the fume, alcohol fumes is really, really strong. Um, after you know creating several um, you know drops I had to stop okay but this one we did this Tina for how long I three hours two to three hours yes something yeah, like that so so this is me just playing so you can see that there are something like you know uh, what do you call that Parang crocodile prints so what happened there is like you know sometimes it's uh, it's too runny okay and then what happened was I had uh, the wind blew, and then you, you, do you see my my napkin, my uh, kitchen uh, kitchen napkin? So it accidentally, you know, touched the the that paper, and then I I saw that you know, oh, it's a nice print. So I added yeah. some of the prints nice from accident. the from the yes from the kitchen uh, napkin. There you go. Yes, yes, guys. Um, Tech Troublemaker, Roy had a really nice interview with with Victor. Remember, we had Victor last week and he was, they did such an amazing um, stream this morning. So if you've not seen it, please do so. And my lightning rod, uh, what do you call this, episode on Tech Troublemaker is up already. So if you've not seen it, it's super fun. Okay, guys, I hope that you can drop my Tech Troublemaker and watch it. Okay. That is with me. Ayan. Anong brand po yan? Okay. So, that one, yung ginagamit kong mixative, that's Ranger. But the rest, okay. Uh, what happened kasi, alcohol ink ni Altenew is very expensive. So, what I in, and I did earlier last year, just was last year, what we did was, we bought all the colors and then we shared. Okay. So, tig half kami. So, we bought those alcohol ink refill containers from Shopee. And so, half of my bottles are in original uh, Altenew bottles. And so is Ayin's. And then, so, tig half kami. And then, the rest are in those refillable bottles. So, what you see there, except for the mixative that I'm using here, are all actually Altenew. Later, you will see it. Here, I'm just playing. And you see that rubber thing that I am using to blow air? That is actually... Hold on. Anak, pakiabot niya. Yeah. Yes. Okay, let's put it here. Okay. So, that one, the one I'm using that, there is this one. It's actually for distress ink pens or markers. So, you put the distress ink marker over there. And then, you can... When you blow this, it will splatter. Okay. So... Ano nangyari dun sa aking camera? So, balik tali natin. Ayan, nag siya. So, this is what I used to move it. Okay. Pero hindi ako marunong gumawa ng ginagawa ni Kayman na parang yung mga gilid niya may mga gold, gold, gold. Although, I had that. So, probably, we should invite her over one of these days so that she can, you know, 
teach us that again. She taught it before, pero syempre, nakalimutan na natin. Right? Alright, there you go. A happy accident. Indeed, indeed. Alton, you alcohol inks are so pigmented. Yes, pigmented at the same time, walang amoy. It's, it, the smell is really uh, bearable. It's not even there. In fairness, I did not have a no-speed episode. <laughs> I had a two-hour le- learning curve. Nag- Nag-epistaxis ka sa al- Hindi, sis KM. Promise. Hi, Roy. Lala, what is the blower called? It looks so cool. I don't even know what it is called. I- I've had this forever. But it's it's really a uh, distress. It's really for distress ink markers. I will show you later how to use this one. You just put the marker there. And then when you when you press this, the, mar- the colors will splatter. Okay, but... I use this to, you know, move the inks, the alcohol inks. Alright, so basically, that's just me playing, playing. So, let me see. Let's forward a little bit. Okay, okay, alright. So, finally, this is now the next step. Okay, so, I am using a waffle flower mixed media or multimedia mat there, okay? It's so easy to clean, even alcohol ink, guys. Okay, all you need to do is to use is an alcohol. So, you can see here that I've actually chosen already, um, I will, I think, I will do three or four, I forgot, oh, we'll see, okay, uh, images, okay, so what you see here, guys, is Yupo paper, okay, that is actually Yupo paper, so alcohol ink uses a very specific kind of paper, you cannot use, we've tried, you know, as Filipinas, we try to, you know, maybe we can use this, 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 right? But uh, from experience and from what others who are into alcohol um, ink art have told me that it's really Yupo, who uh, even Nenet and Nara, Nara paper. So Nenet gave us uh, several of those Nara paper because it's not available. It's from India. All right. So she just gave us a little just to, te- te- to test it. And it's actually really, really nice as well. Yes. Yes, sabi ni Sis KM, those pencil markers have strong fumes. Okay, yes. Okay, I love how smooth the Yupo paper surface was. Hi, Angie! Oh, thank you so much, Angie, for being here. Guys, this is Angie. I think she is uh, She's from the community of Nathan, fluid artist in the house. There you go. Thank you so much, Angie, for being here and for, sus- for subscribing. All right, so guys, you can see here, this is, if you're... If, if it looks familiar, because this is um, the, what do you call this, the collection from KM's just uh, recently held, um, what do they call this, workshop yeah. with, uh, Kera. with Kera Crafts. Yes, okay, so this is the stamp set. Okay, I'm using it. Okay, there. Okay, so again, so I, I used, um, what do you call this, um, what do you call this? Hold on. A Versa Mark. Okay. I used a Versa Mark. Okay. Uh, embossing ink. Hold on. But the Dazzle one. No, oh, it's not cute. The Dazzle one. Okay. And then I forgot, you know, my uh, gliding uh, tool. Okay. Which is actually a very high tech tool. You know, this one. It's super high tech. You know, a whiteboard eraser. <laughs> Magnetic whiteboard eraser. That's what I used to actually, you know, do. Um, uh, use when I do stamping and when I use my uh, Misty or stamping platform. Alright, so this is the Versa Mark ink that I used. It's the Dazzle one. Okay. So there you see, I removed it already and now I am ready to put embossing powder. Yes, normally we use Versa Mark ink if we want to do heat embossing. Again, Yupo paper is not actually paper made of you know paper it's actually synthetic paper so mostly uh it's more it has a feel more of um plastic okay and that's actually if i when i did try to um die cut after because this kind this specific set of uh stamp that i use comes with a die cut uh with a die sorry with a die it took five runs before it actually cut it is so hard to cut again because it's not really paper it's it's actually synthetic paper because otherwise it will not be able to withstand the alcohol content of um, this media 
okay so you see me there just tapping on the paper and trying to remove the excess okay okay there you go the excess uh, there's a lot of static even though I, I, I place a, a anti-static paper right so I just I was just I use a brush okay, a clean dry brush to just remove the excess all right and then I just you know there are, I saw some parts were not totally you know uh, with uh, with uh, embossing powder so I just uh, got a scoop the triangle that I'm using is actually used for diamond art right so but I use it uh, to put uh, embossing powder when I do embossing heat embossing all right so that okay needs to be set aside for a while so again that's Yupo paper okay so the next thing is to heat emboss okay in heat embossing you um, with Yupo paper I'll uh, make sure that before you actually put your heat gun that it's actually really hot already okay so what I'm doing right now over there is actually just you know making my heat gun opening my heat gun and making it really hot so that when I put it on the Yupo because this is remember as I said synthetic uh, material right so it really warps okay so this is one issue that Yupo paper has so of course that's rubber right the mixed media mat is rubber so I placed um, what do you call this uh, Anong ang tawag uh, um, a wooden cutting wooden. board. Okay. Yes, there you go. And then I just held it on one side. You can actually put, uh, what do you call this, um, washi tape or, you know, a little bit of a tacky tape on the side so you don't need to fold it like what I'm doing. But with me, it was fine. So sorry about, you know, the, the blurring because it was trying to, um, didn't know which where to actually focus okay so there you go okay so while okay basically i'm heat embossing there guys okay okay and km okay it's saying alcohol inks are sticky because it contains resin kaya diri kaya diri siya advisable ilagay sa spray bottle Oo, baka mapunta sa ice or ma-inhale thank you so much for that um, tip sis KM there you go hi Tina from Angie yay Angie is my best friend yay thank you so much Angie for being here and welcome to our community there you go there do you see now it's heat embossed already so what I'm gonna do there now is you can see I am trying to roll out the paper so that if there is indeed a little bit of warping while it's still hot you can still remedy that so you can see it's almost flat right so again the technique is you need to make sure that your heat gun is really really hot before you actually um, introduce it to your UFO paper so there there is the finished product. There you go. Hi, Angie from Fine Art of... From your friend, Nathan. My best friend and brother from another mother. Oh, we, <laughs> we have a lot like that here as well. Hello, Angie. Glad to have you here. All right. My mod, my sister from another mister. <laughs> Hi, Miss Tina. Hello. Hindi ako nakapag-hello sa'yo. Angie and Nathan. Okay, your cosmic siblings. Indeed. <laughs> Hi, Sprinkle with Cards. Guys, thank you so much for welcoming Angie. All right, now I'm doing the next image. Okay. Jason! Oh, anak, salamat! You never fail to amaze me with your creations. Maraming salamat, anak! Thank you for dropping by. Lala, this is so cool. Thank you, Nathan. No, it's actually... Nathan, wait till you see KM Heartmaid's creation. This is really nothing. Okay, we're just trying to... Okay, again, this is just the basic stamping. This is with Yupo paper again. Okay, so again, that's an anti-static powder. Okay, so you see there's the, there's powder, right? Because this Yupo paper is super static, guys. Okay, so um, you need to really, you know, put a lot of that anti-static powder so that when you put your embossing ink, which in this case, I used a Versamark Dazzle. Okay, because it's my newest one. <laughs> okay, so I'm putting the other half of that stamp collection. I actually cut it. All right. So it's not perfect. So I'm trying to fix it. Okay, there you go. 
energy. So, Lala, make up your mind. Because <laughs> I wanted, you know, I wanted for you guys to see also the top part. So, there you go. That's the Versa Mark Dazzle. Okay. So, I'm just basically... So, yes, I'm wearing rubber gloves to prevent... Uh, from uh, to protect my fingers and my hands from alcohol uh, ink because alcohol alcohol ink really stains it takes a while uh, for it to be removed there you go so again since I forgot my you know this very high-tech tool uh, uh, what do you call this uh, whiteboard eraser that's this is what I do to press on that one so it, uh, it would uh, have a nicer print, okay, or stamp, okay? And then lift it up and then make sure that, okay, you pull it out like so, all right? So in this case, normally I double, okay? I ink again, I double, but since this is a very new, um, what do you call this, uh, watermark or a versa mark um, ink that's very new, it's super, what do you call that, sis? Juicy. It's super juicy. All right. Yeah. So I really didn't need to, you know, double it. So again, this is, by the way, a Brutus Monroe. That's a Brutus Monroe gilded sparkle, the gold. That, that, that's Brutus Monroe. Okay, that one I got from Kera. All right. So there, as you can see. There. Okay, I'm putting another. So don't worry because, guys, you know your embossing powders will last forever <laughs> yes. okay all you need to do is just put them back so that's a very high-tech piece of paper over there <laughs> you know that's basically your filter paper for your coffee maker or if you don't have that you can even use you know just any paper okay so that after that you simply put it back onto the container okay again that's me using a dry brush removing the excess Okay, embossing powder that's not supposed to uh, be there. All right. So anyway, if, if it's okay, because eventually I will actually die cut this. Okay. So you see, Brutus Monroe embossing powder is one of my favorites. They're very crisp. They are always uh, you, I always end up with very crisp images. There you go. Thank you, Angie. Again, we should watch out for KM Heartmaid. Okay, and she is going to have her very first premiere on YouTube this Friday. So, if you are not yet subscribed to KM Heartmaid, I hope that you would consider doing so. I promise you, you will not regret it. Okay. And actually, um, Angie and um, Nathan, in a way, KM is. A fluid artist but instead of acrylic she also does acrylic but uh, she really specializes in alcohol ink art but her creations look very similar or has a lot of similarity to fluid art acrylic fluid art. Yeah. there you go okay so this is me embossing again so you see me always moving all right so um i really don't stay on one place for a long time because again this paper warps like crazy if you stay for there for a long time sistina one kenobi experience it and uh, you will see it later in uh because this is my part later it will be her part and then she will narrate until the end because it's all her <laughs> All right. So again, um, sorry about the blur. The camera doesn't know where to actually focus because of again. So that's how you heat emboss you with UPO paper, guys. Again, I'm trying to roll it this way, that way, inside, outside, so that if ever there is warping before it gets cold, you can still make it or you can still flatten it. All right. So that's the next one. Don't worry, guys. I'm almost done. <laughs> okay, and then the third one. Ati Margie, maraming salamat for dropping by. Hello, Mami G and Miss Tina. Thank you so much, Ati Margie. There, Ati Margie is a Filipino content creator based in Jeddah. Thank you, Angie. Subscribe to Lovely Acrylic Force. You are amazing. Yes, it's KM. You know, and the fluid art 
community. Uh, yes, I've actually subscribed to them as well. I fell in love with it when I saw how Nathan actually... I actually binge-watched Nathan's um, chan videos on his channel the other day. So I finished all of his episodes. Okay, so you can binge... Yes, you can binge-watch them, guys. It's super nice. And that's why I already know what he's going to share with us pretty soon because I already chose. I chose mm -hmm. the one that's a little bit easy because there are many techniques actually. They do a lot of techniques in fluid art. But I chose the one that's a little bit easy so that, you know, for us beginners, we can copy easy. Okay, there you go. So I am just showing you some of Altenew's um, collections that I actually chose from. Okay, uh, it, because it's nice to do coloring when they are pen sketched or um, what do you call this or drawn or hand drawn. They have that hand drawn look rather than the layering uh, uh, collection of Alton. So eventually, I chose the letter A because my dad's name is Alfredo. So it starts with the letter A. So I'm going to actually use that eventually for um, uh, a Father's Day uh, card later. And then this one, I really like that. That is actually, hold on, I will read from what collection. That's called uh, Statement Flowers. Yes, this is that, Statement Flowers. So again, just like so, always, always, always put anti-static powder onto your UPO paper. By the way, the kind of UPO paper that we are using here is the heavy. Okay, there are several kinds of UPO paper, guys. Okay, there's even silver, there's even black, but the one that I have is the white heavy, okay, which is all gone. We used it up already. And then there's another one that's the regular, and this is the translucent sheet. And then there's the regular white one, okay? So it's up to you what you want, but if you're going to heat embossed, okay, the suggested one is the UPO White Heavy Stock or if you can find, okay, uh, the Nara paper from India, which is so hard to, to find and expensive. Yes, it's very fun and easy technique. There you go. Yes, I really, really love how, you know, it's you also get surprised what you can come up at the end. So I really, you know, I didn't realize that I finished all of Nathan's videos in one evening, <laughs> right? So I binge watch everything. All right. Okay, so again, heat and bow. So maybe, okay, I will fast forward this. Okay, so it's the same thing, guys. So I'm just basically, uh, there you go. So that's the finished one. Pens, that's the, again, what's this collection? I forgot again. Pen sketch, a statement flower. Yes, it's the statement flowers. Yeah, this collection. Okay. It's really, really nice. Okay, and I'm using all the same embossing uh, powder. It's the Brutus Monroe Gold. Okay, Brutus Monroe. I'm not sure though if it's still available. A gilded, gilded sparkle from Brutus Monroe. There you go. Okay, and then. Okay, after that one, I finally... Oops! It's black. What happened? Hold on. Okay, uh, I think it's just my camera died on me. Oh, what happened? I lost footage. Is it on another... Uh, there. Oops. Oh, wow. A lot. Oh, my. A lot of... Oh, okay. So there's a lot of footage that has been, I don't know what happened. As I told you guys, I had an issue actually editing this. So probably this was last minute. I was going to go live and then it didn't finish. I had to start again. So I think I lost some of those. Anyway, but I basically did there was yung coloring part ko nawala. Daya. <laughs> Exactly. So basically what we did after that is to start already with the coloring. Okay, but um and actually I, I finish up to okay, um this is okay, I'll just show you. Hold on. Okay, 
Hold on, guys. Transition, transition to this camera. So what you will see eventually, okay, from the cut segment. Okay, hold on. Uh, okay, is me actually um, coloring? I colored. Um, okay, hold on. I colored this part. Okay, and then this part. Okay, I showed the, you there how I actually created or colored this with alcohol ink. Okay, but I don't know why it's blank. All right, so Tina will actually now um, continue on. Hold on, what is happening to my... Okay. <sighs> Talk about tech issue and what... Is I'm... it all footages, even mine? Huh? Even mine? I don't know. I hope not. Okay, hold on, guys. I'm trying to fix this one. Yeah. Sorry, guys. She did this on the fly. Like, when I finished, she was still editing. And everything seems to be moving like crazy. <laughs> what is happening? It, the tech gods are not with me tonight, guys. Okay, hold on. I'm going to lock this scene so I don't mess it up anymore. All right, so let's go back here to this scene. Hold on. It takes forever to transfer to that scene. Okay. All right, so there you go. It started again to the beginning. See, there is the audio, but where is the video? Is it on... So this was oh. the last one, right? So it's really okay. gone. I think it's 15-20 minutes of footage gone. So I think it starts now with you. Alright, so now this is Tina. This is Tina's turn. Okay. All right, that's her stamp. saying hi. What was the stamp? Oh, there's the, that's the stamp I used. That's Seasonal that's Bloom's album. die set. Seasonal Bloom's die set. Okay, yes. it's lovely. Tina, higher uh, audio a little bit. Higher. Oh, sorry. Yeah. What about now? Yes, Is that better? Better, better? Okay. So I chose this stamp set because it's lovely. I love sunflowers and um, going to be coloring it with uh, alcohol ink. I, as I presume that a bigger space uh, of colors will be better. So that's why I chose this. So like what Lala did earlier, I put some Versamark on the stamp and then stamped it on the Yupo paper. There you go. I didn't know that it was that juicy. That's why I did double stamping. I wanted to make sure. There. You see the extra hand there? <laughs> that's uh <-huh>. me. <laughs> I don't have three hands, okay? The invisible that hand. was Lala's <laughs> other hand. There. So that was the first um, Yupo paper that I did, and I made a slight mistake because I uh, I blew hot air on some parts too long, and you'll see that the paper would become a little bit distorted. But I tried what Lala um, said that you know to stretch it, to roll it, to make it. A little flatter from the distorted um, state. So don't but worry, lovely. guys. This was just Tina's first attempt ever, ever. Okay, a heat embossing yupo paper and doing alcohol ink. Okay, handling alcohol ink. So she was, you know, really didn't know what to expect. <laughs> but come the second one that she did this, oh, it's perfect. No, <laughs> it's not perfect. <laughs> Perfect na. Ayan, nakita nyo, medyo may mga na ano, no? Yeah. Hindi na namin nahabol yun. You have to keep moving pala when heat embossing the Yupo paper, even if it's the thick type. Because it's not really not meant for uh, heat embossing. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so Tina is trying to um, Roll remove it. the warping. Yeah. Okay, but you would see that at this point, Sorry guys. Bakit yung sa akin parang hindi naka times 4, no? Yung sa iyo yung mabilis. Mm -mm. Weird talaga nitong ano ko. Nagloko talaga yung computer ko, guys. Sorry. Okay, so this is her second uh, try. This is the second paper. Yeah, this is the second attempt. Thank you Angie for the confidence, for the vote of confidence. Absolutely. I hope so. 
So this is my yes, first time to encounter. Great minds think alike, indeed. That's also what Nathan said. Nathan, great minds, absolutely. So this is the first time that I've used a uh, Brutus Monroe embossing powder, and it's le really lovely. All I have are of a different brand, but this is the first time that I've encountered Brutus Monroe. Uh, I don't know if Kara still sells this because I haven't seen any of the embossing you know, when, powder. When, when I saw that they had the Brutus Monroe collections, you ah! you again. <laughs> <laughs> you hoarded it again. Ad agad, so ad. <laughs> So there, that's my second attempt, and this time, I tried my best not mm -hmm. to put too much heat on one area for too long. Mm -hmm. I kept moving and moving and rolling it in between. There, roll it, roll it, roll it! There. So it's, uh, it's in a quite better state Sorry, than the first my table is really messy, but you know, as crafters and artists, you know that we all have that kind of table, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So why is my letter A there? Oh, oh this is me, guys. That's oh, the letter A that, you know, I failed to show you guys. Oh, this oh, is me. Ito so this is where it went. Dito pala napunta yun sa'yo. Ano okay, your turn. Guys, this was the missing footage. Alright, so eventually, okay, um, okay, so after we've done um, heat embossing the stamped images on our UFO paper. So those are actually um, I'm supposed to show them what Okay, where did I where is that? I'm supposed to show you what uh, alcohol ink I'm using Okay, hold on guys. And then you see those water brush markers. Those are actually filled with alcohol instead of water. So, normally we use it with water for watercolor, right? But this one, instead of water, call, uh, instead of water I put alcohol inside. Okay? So, that's just a brush. And then, that's me testing out. Sorry, there's a mosquito. <laughs> testing out the green. Alright, so you see? I, it's too much pigment. Too much alcohol ink. Okay? But don't worry because with alcohol ink, you can actually... You know, uh, what do you call that? Um, remedy. Remedy that by adding alcohol later on. Right? So, pardon my ugly coloring technique. Because no, I am not, again, at any any form or shape. This is my third time to actually do alcohol ink. Okay? To actually use alcohol ink. So, please bear with me. But I, still, I'm. This is you know being. This is me being real, showing you all my bloopers, all the ugly behind the scenes. All right. So, oh, this is not even ugly yet. Wait for it. Just to no, wait for it. I can make that. it even uglier. <laughs> don't say <laughs> that. You know, it, this is trial and error. So this is like. Oh wow, okay, so now I, I started, you know, anyway, I, I'm gonna cut this up, right? I'm gonna die cut this, right? So, it's okay if you actually, you know, go beyond the, the lines, that's fine. But wait, just you wait what I'm gonna be doing. It's like, maybe this is another short video where my eyes would go big. <laughs> right, Tina? Another short video in the making. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can Hello, do it. Hello, G! Giga Art! Yes, Giga Art is from Australia as well. Um, Nathan and Angie. She's also an artist. Actually, a friend of Yeth Art. That's how I actually met Yeth Art through GG. And then through Yeth, I met Nathan. And through Nathan, I met Angie! <laughs> there you go. See, amazing, right? What our community... Um, being in a community does. Okay, guys, so you see how I've actually turned this into a pretty dismal looking wreath. <laughs> okay, uh, but don't worry because eventually it looks nicer. Promise. It yes. would look like this eventually. So that's a nice thing with uh, alcohol ink. You can actually always remedy it. Okay, so it's like at this point, I'm saying to Tina, I give up! <laughs> so the thing is, I actually, um, I'm, I was not letting it go 
right after you've applied it let it dry a little bit right or again this is a uh, simple coloring so there's no mixative there's no whatever kind of alcohol technique okay so the only technique that Nenet wanted us to do here is just to basically use your alcohol and then your alcohol ink okay and then eventually to remove color add color okay remove color add color until you have that you know different kind of um mix of colors eventually all right cc that's how ugly it is so don't worry because i will finally end uh your torture no. torturing you <laughs> this one i think by i think what you're doing here Tina. all right there you go hi cat hi miss cat good evening hi yes art yes i actually met um nathan through yes art we were actually there for like an hour or so watching yes create sonic just yes. by you know a draw sonic using just a single pen so if you guys have not seen that Head on to Yes Arts channel. Lala, you're doing beautiful. Oh, Angie, thank you so much. You're so kind. It's actually not. <laughs> but as I said, you know, um, I have to start somewhere, right? And, you know, learn. Uh, okay, now this is Tina. Tina, your turn. Yeah. Well, at that point when you were spreading it, I think we were testing how, how fast it can spread yeah. as soon as you put the alcohol in. So anyway... Um, yeah, so this these are sunflowers. I'm trying to check to see if I can just put it on one end and then spread it later on, but you'll see what will happen later. <laughs> um, this one, Tina, is because I don't have the yellow uh, out in you, so she actually used uh, my yellow... Um, Ranger. Ranger, okay. I, yes. uh, okay, let me try and get it, what it's called. It's the dandelion. Yes, dandelion. The dandelion. Yeah. This one. So I was Guys, quite do you know how, how long I've had this? Yes. Yes, now how long she's had that ink, Ranger uh, ink. How long I've had my Ranger alcohol inks? More than five years, so you can go higher. So I wasn't quite happy with just one color because I wanted it to be like um, what do you call that when it changes color eventually going towards another AR part of the surface. Nathan, more, more, okay, more than four years. It's actually almost thirteen years. Thirteen years. Yes. Eh, ito pa yung ito pa yung original na lalagyanan. Iba na ngayon ang lalagyanan ng alcohol. Uh -huh. Oo. Ito pa yung original, oh. Ganyan pa, oh. Yung parang meron pang uh, mountain. Ngayon ganito na. Oh, the transition na sila. So with alcohol ink, it's it's the technique is like when you apply it, it's like watercolor. But the thing is with alcohol ink, it dries up really fast. So you have to be really fast. You have to decide what color you want and then i kept pouring you know you see the um tube i was actually putting more alcohol on the palette mm. to reactivate the alcohol again oh, yeah. so don't worry about that part because actually tina is going to remove that area that's a big stamp the one that she used that's a very big stamp mm -hmm. I think we used a 6x6 six six, or is it an 8x8 eight eight, uh, card from that one? Okay, so she's so doing the leaf The now. mistake here is that my mistake is I put the green too soon because the yellow was still wet. Mm -hmm. So if you can avoid that, then avoid it by all means because it'll, it'll spread to the other color. So now I'm putting it on the leaves, green on the leaf, leafy part of the stamp. For those who are, who have been in the community for a long while, they know that draw, uh, drawing coloring is really not my strong point. But I, it doesn't stop me from trying though. 
I always try. Yeah, we just need to practice. I don't practice though. I just try. <laughs> That's the thing. If I have more time. Hi, Gigi. Ayan, from, from Batchmate. How are you, Marie, today? Super busy. Alright. So, oh, nasa ka napunta dyan. Ah, Tina, where are you? Wait. Nag-block ka. Hold on. I pressed something on my... Okay, she, Tina's still there. Alright, she's back. Okay, overhead yeah. cam. There you go. Okay, so, so this there, is her second one. This is the second paper of you, Paul. So now I'm trying it to start from the ends. And this time with the yellow-orange tips. Oh, si Marie finishing her entry. Wow! Good job, batchmate! Guys, sa kanya din kayo. Ayan, makikita nyo later yung mga creations. Okay? You will see later the creations of uh, some of our um, team bahay. Yes, yeah, so we're just discovering how to use alcohol ink. I really have no experience with alcohol ink because exactly. I'm too scared. I'm too scared to use alcohol ink this because... This was Tina's first... Actually, I forced her to actually, you know, do this because she really said, no, I have allergies with, with you know, even markers. You know, markers that have a, this very distinct alcohol smell. She can't handle those kinds of markers. But I promised her, no, that's why we had to do this. We had to record this uh, instead of doing it live because, you know, I didn't want her to have, you know, allergies because of the smell but as you know we were actually surprised that it wasn't really you know um that strong did you actually you know um smell the alcohol kit uh, when i use the ranger a bit yes yes the, the the yellow one with the for the ranger no yes but the alti new ones they're fine the back mm -hmm. so see guys i didn't know what to do what was because the the flower on top it kind it, it's kind of marbly and i said what the heck <laughs> yeah, I'm hi the crafty in me hi judy thanks okay have one have sis yes please do so hi crafty in me uh, sis judy this is angie she is nathan's uh the fine art of distractions best friend that must make life a bit difficult yes because there are certain media that us uh, medium that is it has a very distinct smell. She can't. Mm -hmm. But you know what, guys? What I found out, it doesn't matter if your coloring is like that. You know, it's it's not pantai or it's marbly. Because in the end, the technique that Nanette taught in the video will not matter. This will not matter at all. Because what will matter is what you will do in the end. Yes. So you can actually tweak everything. You can even remove them. <laughs> Remove yes. the color in the end if you want. <laughs> so, yeah. So, it doesn't really matter if it's not pantai, the color. Now, if you or guys don't have alcohol ink at home right now, because this is probably maybe the first time that you actually um, heard about it or seen alcohol ink, um, you can use something, you know, if you have watercolor. Just, just mention that. Okay, in the Discord that what you use is alcohol or Nathan or Angie, if you have, you know, works there that you want to submit as well, just uh, say that it's actually acrylic. Okay, as long as, you know, same feels, right? Uh -huh. So there. So doing the leaf, uh, it's better if you put a stronger color on the image itself because of the technique that um, Nanette yes. had taught in the video. That one we l later learned because when yes. we were trying to do the... Because in Nanette's video, you're supposed to remove some of the colors with streaks, yes. right? So it has more, you know, details and texture. But what happened was because we were... No, I was afraid to actually put more, you know, colors. So I ended up not being really very noticeable. So what we did, Tina and I, added more, 
you know, colors. Eventually, when it dried up, we added more colors so that we can actually see that we are removing some of the pigments with just alcohol. So eventually, we'll be using a very tiny brush and that just alcohol. So at this point, I'm not using gloves anymore because I have a hard time really on holding things yes. when and I have you're trying my... to achieve a, a certain kind of shading, guys. I know it's possible because we've seen that with, you know, KM doing that. But it's it's hard. <laughs> Easier no, said but... than done because it moves, right? You can't just say, stop! <laughs> no, just but like what she color, does, right? kasi, ba, what she does is move it, move the paper like that when yes. she uses alcohol ink. But oh. we're not doing that. In this case, we're really like treating it like watercolor. Yes, that's how Nenet uh, did this um, technique. Although I did that earlier because I wanted to feel what KM was doing. <laughs> so next time we will do that. It's ano yun, medyo talagang for those who are really OC, it's super hard. So there, he. You see, I have another tube in my other hand. That's filled with alcohol the tube I mix it if I wanted the lighter color yes. I mix yes. alcohol again this one is filled with alcohol okay the 99% isopropyl alcohol guys is it really the 99% alcohol does it really feel colder to, to the touch uh, yeah it, uh, it evaporates actually really also faster this is what we actually use as well to um, to make you know, 70% isopropyl alcohol. Oh. So there, I'm mixing it and removing it. <laughs> oh no, I removed it because the surface of the table is covered with a clear plastic. Yeah, so what we did, this is a lifetime, you know, just a regular lifetime table. And yeah. then we just covered it with plastic so that we can just, you know, put all the inks there. And it doesn't matter because it, the, the table is going to be safe. Yes, but because I wanted the surface to be clean and and everything, I just poured alcohol on it and then wiped yes. it. The night baker, thank you so much Paul, for dropping by. So this is another color that I used. It's um, purple for the other flower at the bottom. So I really wanted it really dark. But some parts were light colored because I mixed alcohol. So if you guys want to um, submit your entries, if you don't have any alcohol ink, they can use any ink at all as long as they do the same technique that Nanet mm. has taught. You can no? do this with um, watercolor, distress oxide also. So color everything. Um, oh, I know what we forgot to do. As vivid the as you. The last part we forgot to actually spritz with alcohol, twelve to fourteen inches. Oh, away. okay. Maybe I'll do it now. <laughs> I won't be able to do it. Sorry. Oh, wala ka palang alcohol na. Yeah. Para may parang mga speckles, speckles lang, de ba? Can I use seventy percent? No. Yeah, sige, try. Or, or cologne. <laughs> We'll see. Oh, it did work. There you go. It did? Okay. I'll do it later. So I'm still mixing the color with alcohol. And that's how you clean also the brush. You pour alcohol over it and then just wipe it on a tissue. Or a kitchen towel. I think I actually used one, two, three, four, five brushes, and then the really small uh, tip brush for the lifting. Actually, later. I think that brush is uh, I I use I use it for calligraphy. Eh. This one? No, no, the very fine one. Is that the um, fine one? The last one that we used for the lifting? Yes, yes. That's for calligraphy. Hi, Gladys. 
Hi Gladys! Sorry I came in late. I was editing a video and lost track of time. Yes, editing can do that, right? I almost didn't go live. <laughs> I was trying to edit this one. Hi Gladys! There you go. So you see I'm trying and still trying to fix the uh, the flower petals because I wasn't too happy with the first one. Gladys, Nathan is saying hi. And now I'm putting a more vivid color than the yellow because the yellow is too light for the technique that we're going to be So what doing. happened here guys is that we're side by side but since we were um, doing this outside okay and then my my son and daughter were also doing a live stream they were doing a video playthrough so we couldn't i couldn't use my setup here so we don't we only have one camera overhead camera so i said it's okay so tina was the only is the only one you can see here actually but i was actually working beside her yes. and complaining to high heaven <laughs> along the way about how I was, you know, butchering the project and how but I really love like... the paper. I really love how smooth the paper is and yeah. how how the And no how matter the... what you do with this paper, yeah. it will survive. Promise. Yes. So it actually took five passes on a normal die cutting machine. Normally it's just one pass, it's already cut. Mm -hmm. This time it took five to six because it's really very hard to cut using a die cut with using die but using scissors it's okay yeah i'm doing fussy cut instead of using the cutting the die. the, the dies cutting dies i'm too scared it might destroy the, the uh -oh. stamping ano na nga ang first name ni creative heart handcraft si miss Bell? Huh? Bell? No, not Bell. Hindi ah, ba Bell? Hindi ba? Yes. Ma'am, okay ka na ba yung schedule mo? Hindi kami magkaano magka ng schedule eh. Hindi ba si Bell yan? Gel! Ah, gel! Oo. Oh, oh. ano so sabi ko, mm, gel. Thank you, batchmate! Yan. Oh, oh, highly recommended ang iyong mga stencils ni Batchmate Marie. Ayan. Yes. Kat, I hope you're okay. Feeling better. And just si Kat. Hi, mm -hmm. Kat. I'm actually okay. doing fussy so what's cut next? now. What's happening here, Sistina? Uh, I think I was checking out what you were doing. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. Tell them what you're doing here. With uh, now, uh, I'm trying to see if I can just put a darker outline on the leaves, if that would make a difference. But eventually, I wasn't happy with this because we were going to do the technique, nga, right? Like so we're eventually, supposed to remove. Yes, you have to lift the color with a fine line. What he did was just fill everything with darker green instead of leaving Don't it like that. Don't you love Angie? She's saying hi to everybody, guys. Say hi to Angie. <laughs> Latrina. <laughs> si Latrina andito. <laughs> yes, Katrina. Thank but you, I really guys. Like Thank you, Nathan and Angie. The color of the tulip because it's really vivid. Vivid. Nathan and Angie, do you go live also or just really live, uh, just recorded videos? Maybe you want to try going live as well? Uh, something I, I realized with the art community, most of them are very shy. Uh -huh. Mga crafters tayo hindi. <laughs> hindi masyado. <laughs> well, I was shy at first, no? You were shy? Oh yeah. yes. Okay na nga lang. <laughs> Sige na nga. <laughs> no, walang sayo. <laughs> oh, Angie does. Okay, there you go. Tina, this is looking amazing. Yes. Okay, so we can 
Love that Tina. Ayan na sabi. Love that Tina from Batchmate. Yes, I also love the vivid colors. So eventually, what I did with the with the leaves is just okay. darken everything. Gaganda Instead pa yan, guys. Oh, kasi nga yun that at this point we realize. Ah, hindi pa to, no? Hindi pa to. Hindi pa natin dito na realize na the darken. Oh, ito na ba yun? Hindi pa. Hindi pa. Kasi I was just putting outline pa lang until I did the lifting and I said, what the heck? Doesn't make any difference. Yeah, I was like, just Tina is telling her, Tina. Hindi ko nakikita yung nawawala yung pigment, right. nawawala yung paint. What to do? Sige. Mag-ano muna ako. Ayan, nag-submit ka si ano, si Batchmate. Lifting ka, Marie? Hindi siya eh. Oo nga. Actually, sa totoo lang, ako lang yataan hindi siya. Ayan no. Oh, Ayan no. I was trying, I was Ayan, trying to do a lifting. That's the technique that Nenet wants us to do. Okay? So, after coloring it, you know, the usual regular coloring, then you go get, you know, a, a brush and then dip that tip. in alcohol and then remove the pigment and then put it on your tissue and then get again, put the tissue. But then we weren't that happy with, you know, the kind of... Oh, there you go. You see it? There. So at this point, we use several brushes. So I said, this is not working with the current brushes that we have we're using it or the brushes were simply too thick um what happens is every time we try to put alcohol it just removes all the the the, ano, the color right or the pigment yeah so i said i don't it's impossible for me not to have a smaller brush right? <laughs> yes. you know how, how i am you know hoarding in the past and all said no i must have you know very thin brushes so i went inside you know, looked into my craft room and lo and behold, I found this brushes, which are actually for calligraphy. So there you go. Now you see the line. Ay, hindi masyado nakita. They actually kita sis. Maganda. Alright. So Angie has a live once a week and also a premiere once a week. Alright, so the best way for us not to miss those guys is to go in, to go to Angie's channel now or later. And then don't forget to um, hit that notification bell. Otherwise, when she goes live or uploads a new video, just like with us, we won't get notified. Yes. So now it's not set remind, it's notified. There you go. Christina, ang ganda, so vibrant. Yes. So this is, you know what Altenew um, has amazing watercolors, right? The same thing with alcohol ink art. Uh, with alcohol inks, they're very, very vibrant. I love the colors. I have a set of alcohol inks, but scared. Come on, Angie. Us too. We didn't know what we were doing. <laughs> I forgot my Monday premieres. Don't worry, Angie. See, in the in the beginning, I said, "Welcome to another." I forgot if it's midweek or weekend. <laughs> So it's it's okay. Can you send? Can you use alcohol inks on anything other than you folk paper? That's the sad thing. No. No, because um, the nice thing with alcohol is it's supposed to you know actually flow like watercolor flows, but we can't achieve that unless it's this synthetic kind of. Uh, either the Yupo paper or the Nara paper. Synthetic that one's paper. from India. According to um, Nenet Samson Madera of uh, My Little Attic Studio, that uh, she actually prefers Nara paper to Yupo. Bakit because, na ba? Hindi ko na matandaan bakit. But, but it's I more just expensive. remember that she says she prefers that. But it's actually more expensive than the Yupo. Yeah. So, see, I, I, Very well, I'm now darkening the leaves, the green. Because if you lift it with alcohol, with a thin brush, you mm -hmm. won't see it. So now I'm darkening everything. Yeah, yeah so it is at this point that we realize that if your color is not too vibrant or dark, it's, yeah. uh, it's so hard to, for you to be able to see later on when you try to remove the pigment. Yeah. But with Nenet's video, it looks so easy, right? Mm -hmm. 
she was just doing this, adding this, doing this, adding this, and voila, finished. Like wow. So now I'm cleaning the brush. As it seems. Clean, 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 clean. Now to lift the color again using the small brush, you have to have alcohol, a tissue, and that small brisk, I know, small thin brush. So you see, we have that pipette, that plastic pipette. So instead of putting the alcohol on a dish or something, we just pipe it out, of, you know, certain quantities that we want. And then when it's done or dry up, then we get again. So, so guys, that's the kind of um, technique that we would like to see with your outputs tonight. No matter what um, medium you're gonna use, if you're going to, going to use alcohol markers by Copic, Copic has uh, that brush that doesn't have any pigment, right? But when you run the the so brush, like, it to lift. So it's like we're crazy, right? We put tons of color, <laughs> and then now we remove. <laughs> So there, to add uh, detail, there you go. So you just get your dip, yes, your dip. In fairness, guys, do you know that the camera I'm using here is just an iPhone? Galing. It's clear. Yeah, kitang kita yung details, is no? Mm -mm. Ito yung camo? Yes, and I'm using camo. Yeah. Oh, diba from KM. Lovely, Miss Tina. Thank you, KM. Oh, diba pag si KM nag ano, nakakakilig. Oh, my. <laughs> Colorless Copic marker. Oh, diba? So, shala si Batchmate. Wala siya nung 99% alcohol. Colorless Copic marker ang gamitin. Why not? Diba? It froze. Oh. Is this the end? Uh, I, I'm it. not sure. Not yet. It's still moving, but oh, yeah, I no, think that was the end. Oh, okay. So that was the end, okay, of our recorded, okay. And so what happened after, okay, so let's show them, Tien. All right. So now that is Tina's output. There you go. She posse cut, okay, the images. Okay, colored colored with alcohol ink. There you go. This is her first time to actually, you know, use alcohol ink. But how 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 nice is it, right? Ang ganda ganda. So right. Hello lift. po, Maria Angelica Ganyo. Salamat sa pagdaan po. Salamat. Ayan. <laughs> All right. So now we're gonna turn this into what is this? <laughs> Okay, I will. Okay, sorry for that. Let me. I know. I will just adjust my. My I think my face cam. Okay, hold on. So I'm fussy Two. cutting everything, so that I can make it into something else. Or I will just make it higher. I P I P ko nga pala ano. Okay. Or I'll turn it around. Yes, turn it around. There you go. That's better. Okay, you can see my stream deck. Sorry for. Okay, now I need to turn this around. Okay, let me see. Let me see. So the camera is blocking my view. So there I need I to am. turn around my. Where's my hand? There you go. Okay. Okay, and adjust the. I'm still seeing. Okay. Okay, now we will turn this into cards. Yeah, but I have to remove the white parts. So, yun, dapat may lifting din yung output ninyo. Merong some sort of ano. Ang higpit ni, ni ano? Ni Tina? <laughs> <laughs> Kasi di ba yun yung technique ni ano, ni Anet? Lifting? ba yun? May nakikita akong parang itim at the back. Ayan. Saan? Sa likod ko. Anyways, anyhow. Shadow yun ng lamp, lamp mo eh. Ng phone ko, no? Nang, hindi, shadow ng lamp mo. Hmm. 
sa likod mo. Ayun no, yung lamp mo. Ito? Yung lamp mo sa likod. Ay, hindi wala nang Oh, this. Na, yeah, yeah, ah, yeah, yeah, yung the shadow of my shadow. lamp. Okay, okay, turn okay, on okay, the okay. light of the lamp para wala shadow. Okay, ayan. Nara paper doesn't stain. Ah. Kaya pala was about to ask how many inches is Miss KM, the alcohol ink goddess will submit tonight. But then probably the question should be how big her entry would be. <laughs> Tama. Just to let you know, if you decide to do alcohol ink art often, you can get 5 liter and 20 liter jumps of isopropyl wow, alcohol. That's a lot. And it's a way more cost effective here in Australia. 500 ml costs 22. That's a lot of alcohol. But buy 20 liter jump for 80. Ay, mas mura nga. Dami nun. But then, Nathan, we don't normally really use, as I said, di ba? In how many years, this is only my third time to actually use this. Okay, submitted my entries. Others for our alcohol ink background. Na-addict po ako. Ayan. KM can do this with her eyes closed. Yes. She will just smell. Diba? Ayan. So, okay. Let me check Discord first and see who has submitted. Again, winner. Okay, hold on, guys. You can still hear me anyways. I just want to check the Discord. All right. So, it's August 6th, guys. August 6th. We're gonna have Nathan as our guest. So please put that into your calendars already. Okay, let me check Team Bahai. Team Bahai submission, Batchmate. Nice. Uh, ang ginawa ni Batchmate, ano, um, ano tawag mo, um, alcohol ink feels. Wow, Batchmate! In fairness! Love it! What happened to my blade? Ayan. Kailangan tayo magpaturo kay KKM. Yung mga ganyan, yung may mga parang gold river. May mga oh, ganun. Ano yung KM? Oo. Oh, oh. Napakahirap pong i-achieve niyan. Parang ganda ng tingnan, pero napakahirap, guys. Okay. Mahirap ba talaga? Okay, okay, okay. Now, let's turn them into <clears throat> into cards. Asa na yung akin? What is the dead? What time is the deadline? Oh, yeah, right. It's 9.25 now, so okay, 10 o'clock. Ayan, oh, guys, ha? 10 o'clock, ha? Oh. Hindi na yan super, ano, super fast. But I'm glad I got to try alcohol ink, finally. Ha? I'm glad I got to try alcohol ink, finally. Oh, diba? Sabi ko nga, we, the nice thing about, you know, doing crafty nights is, we get to use and do stuff that we would normally never do if it's just up to us, right? Yes. So, especially me. Lala. Thank you, Lala, for letting me try this. Oh. And removing my fear. Because I really, I was really apprehensive to do this because I kept telling her, you know, I would get nosebleed. You would have to be ready with all the blood. <laughs> Like a yeah, murder. we've been trying to convince her since yesterday, Marie and I. She said, no, I can't do this. I said, no, I will do everything so that that won't happen. Although, of course, I just scared din ako when you said, you know, even the smell of, you know, the alcohol markers. No, not alcohol markers, but Pentel. Ah, pen pen mar yung mga markers. Yeah. Certain brands. Yes. Okay, there you go. You know the aircon is too cold. 
but when I turn it off, it's too hot. Oh, okay. Just put the Okay, I don't know why my kids. Um, oh, guys, by the way, I have good, great news. Okay, Nenet of My Little Attic finally has this. My favorite, the Gina K Connect. Oh, she has this in stock what already. What is it? Been, what does it do? I, I've been waiting it for so long. I super love this, you know, liquid glue. Oh, it's a glue. Yes, it's liquid glue. Sorry, guys, my my fingers are very dirty. As you know, you know, I have ink everywhere. Kasi nabutas po yung gloves ko. So, you know what happens. Okay, let me see. Let me fix my very... Ganyan ang aksidente nangyayari pag nabubutas. Diba? <laughs> <laughs> Alam na this. <laughs> Pignan <may. laughs> Okay. You know, I've had this mosquito for 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 weeks now. I cannot kill it. But in fairness, it doesn't bite me, but it's it keeps on hovering. Oh, if it doesn't bite you, then it's a male mosquito. Ah, uh, ganon? Yes, because only female mosquitoes, mosquitoes feed bite? on blood. Yes. But still, it's a mosquito, so I don't want it here. So I want it to go away. But it's so fast. You want to kill it? Nakakainis. <sighs> doesn't work with the zap the one like uh, hindi namin ma ano ma timingan talaga it's so fast may nakalimutan akong kulayan ng green na ano yun ko na lang i'll use my copic medyo i am in my craft room Hindi ako nakulayan. Ay, shucks. Oo, parang comfortable to use daw yung cutter mo. Tina. Huh? That one. The Fiskars. Oo. Is it sharp? Ay, nakulay. Patay tayo. Oh, Sir Adi's here. Hi, Sir Adi. Hi, Adi. Long time no see. Uh -oh. Sir Adi, nagtatanong sila about my favorite. Brutus my favorite Monroe. Closing powders. The Brutus yeah. Monroe line. It's a Kara Crafts website. Iba, wala. Mabilis kasi naubos yan eh, sis. Eh, paano? In ano mo? Hinord mo eh. Grabe sila sa akin. One of each lang binili ko ha, in fairness. Umami na kayo, mga nag-hoard kayo. <laughs> Ilabas nyo ang mga Brutus on rope. O, oh, diba? Ah, wala akong background music. Meron. I can hear it. But it's too soft. Lakas talaga convincing power si Ms. Lala. <laughs> no entry po for tonight. Di na kinain ng powers ko. Bawi po ako next scene. Yes, Ms. Gladys. No worries. Ay, meron pala. Low volume lang po ako. Tina, that... Ay, nasabi ko na pala. Master Red! Hello, hello! Hi, Master Red. Hi, Rosemary. And Sammy, guys. Sammy just launched his new, um, what do you call that? Segment called Sammy on the Street. It's super cool. He will interview people on the streets. 
Random people? Random people on the street. And then really? they, he asks, uh, you know, random questions as well. So this time he asks about Twitter versus YouTube. So if you've not seen it, it's just very, it's just a short. It's, it's, but it's nice. So congratulations again, Sammy. Dapat magtira ka sa amin ni, ni, ni Tina Batchmate. Grabe kayo sa akin. Hindi ko yan inubos. Sir AD, pagtanggol mo ako dito. <laughs> Ayan. Hi, Sir AD from KM. I know that KM, meron kayong another round, di ba? Of workshop. Meron na bang schedule? If there is na, you can put it in the chat. And then maybe Sir AD can send me the, ano, the poster. Ayan. Hi daw, ma si Master Red, Miss Marie and Tina, and of course, okay, Mommy Guide. Hi, Master Red. Finishing some orders while watching. Ayan. KM Heart made a low. Ayan. Marami na nag-aabang sa, ano mo, KM. Sa live mo this Oo nga, KM, how exciting. Premiere mo this Friday. Finally, natapos mo edit. Ayan. So, you know, when the aircon got turned off, parang... Uminit naman. Hindi. Ang, 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 ang ingay pala niya. Ah. Do you not, guys, do not hear the blur of the, ano... No, we don't. The aircon. Ang ingi pala niya. Tumahimik bigla eh. Hindi ko rin napapansin when I'm there at your house. Really? Hindi nga yun. Napapansin nila Marcus when we stream dun sa ano namin, accountability group. Oh really? Pag naka-zoom. Rinig nila eh. So I have to turn it off. Para raw may coaching na gaano. How often do you have it serviced? Which reminds me, I have to have every, my... Every three months. Mm -mm. Kasi split type. Mm -mm. Yung sa akin din. Buti na lang na-mention mo, I have to have it scheduled. Ayan. Number one dad. Mother's Day is just around the corner. Oo nga. For those who have fathers still, what are you giving your dads on Father's Day? Or for the dads here, what do you want to receive from your kids? Or from your wife? Ano, ano, sis? What, what do they want to receive from their kids or their wife? Eh, si Nathan lang ang ano. Ah, si kasi Master Red. <laughs> Mami Lala, can I join Discord? Yes! Creative Handcraft! Sino ba ang friend sa atin ni... Okay. Okay, ito na siya. Yes! Yes! Oh, hindi pa rin. <laughs> <laughs> The elusive mosquito. Yes. Okay, guys, uh, batchmate. Batchmate Marie. Nakaya lang, makahindi na alam ni Marie. Sige, hold on. Miss Creative, uh, ano, Miss Jell, can you message me on Mommy Guide Inc? Facebook. On Mommy Guide Inc's, yes, Facebook page. So I can send you the link. And Nathan, can you share the link to uh, Angie so that she can also be part of, if you want, Angie, we welcome you to our Discord. Okay, so please message me on Mommy Guide Inc.'s Facebook page. I'm going there right now and Oh, 
Ito ba na 10 o'clock? Yeah. Okay, inbox. Okay, I'm waiting for your messages, guys. Okay, Nathan, I'm sending you again the link. Maybe kindly send it to Angie. And then Miss Jell. Ayan, ayan. Miss Jell sent. How do I do this? Miss Jell sent na po. Okay, okay, Miss Jill. Sige po. Wala daw siya nung for the current, pero meron siya yung from the past. Yung last week yata. Hindi ko yata na-send sa kanya yung link last week. Sorry, Miss Jill. Thank you, Batchmate. Ayan, Sir AD. Hello daw to everyone. Dami nagsisay hi to Sir AD. Oo, na-miss ka namin, Sir AD. Super busy. What's up, AD? Oo, may, promise kaya yan, busy. May pasabog na naman, promise. Ang Kera soon. What's up, what's up? So, don't forget to check them out. Every now and then. Ayan, every day. O, oh, di ba? Every day. Oo. <laughs> Oops. Para hindi kayo nauubusan. Oh, alam na this. Hirap yan ay mga maliliit na quotes. Bakit sabi ni? Sabi ni. Wow, sunod-sunod ang pasok ng Discord. Wow, Dokri! Okay, hold on. I think I saw Angie's message. Okay, hold on. I have so many... Uh, bahay. On Facebook? Hold on. Uh... Oh, welcome. Hi, Angie. Okay, guys, say hi to our new uh, members of the Discord. Hi, Angie. Hi, Jill. There you go. Okay, so you will see the channel outside. You will see welcome, rules, announcement, drop your links. You can drop your links, actually, by the way. And then Team Bahay down below, that's where you can submit, okay, your projects for Team Bahay. So most of the time, we do have Team Bahay every time that we go live for Crafty Nights. Okay, if you can join, we would love for you to join. But uh, if there are times we can't, that's also fine. Wait, guys, I'll just check on my mom. Okay, why? Okay. 
Okay, sige, sige. Go ahead. Ayan. So, this one. Okay, and then let's do another one. I hope everything's fine, Tin. Scrapbookie, hi, Miss Nazy. We're now assembling our cards. So, thank you so much to those who have submitted their team. Bye! This is super awesome. Salamat, salamat po. I know not everyone actually really has alcohol inks right now. But as I said, it's okay for tonight. You can submit any. And similar vibes. Miss Nazy, that's Angie. She's Nathan's uh, best friend. I really love, you know, Angie, the reason I, I did Crafty Nights, I started Crafty Nights, is because I wanted to be able to craft with somebody else, not just me. Um, prior to the pandemic, we would meet, I have a club, I have a craft club where we meet um, week, weekend, Saturdays, but then when the pandemic came, and then we are we, we couldn't meet each other right so we started you know doing our meetups via zoom and then eventually um i joined this international um, streaming community and i learned how to actually do live stream and i started uh, doing crafty live streams and i've not stopped since then i started last year january 23 Simply because, you know, I just wanted to be able to continue creating and doing something out of not just buying, not just, you know, always hoarding stuff, but actually finally, you know, creating stuff. Not just hoarding. And like this one, you know, um, alcohol art is not something that, you know, I'm... I know or even good at but it doesn't stop me from trying right so it's something that you know who knows in the future I might get to actually really love it I, I would I would want to you know if you guys are already in the discord and you would see the amazing projects of some of our team Baha'i participants so I would love to be able to do 
stuff like that in the future. You know, I'm sure in the future I'll learn just uh, baby steps. Nothing good is achieved by the easy um, through easy way. Or sometimes I mean, if it's too easy, di ba, hindi mo rin na-appreciate. Yeah. Okay. So, that's fine. And no judgment here, guys. So, you don't have to be, you know, part of the community. You have to be very good. You have to do this. No, 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 no. That's one thing I also like and saw in community of Nathan. You know, the fluid artist community. When I was in the yeah, uh, vid, uh, I mean live stream like they said hello Lala okay, I will cut guys we're still here ha huh? it's just that I'm trying to finish my last card. Can you make it eat? Making it into a How many did you make? Ba? You made a lot. I'll finish it off with sentiments. Meta o ba tiyan? Hindi, wala. My mom was taking a bath so I was checking on her. Rhyme or reason, just you know. Ah, ito nakakatawa, this one. Ayan, no? Yung nispritzan ko ng alcohol. Diba? Yung last mm -hmm. minute. Tada! So, May mga drink with some I'm trying to assemble okay this this card now okay hold on oh thank you thank you thank you Nathan Kusineri magandang gabi po the art of community is a very loving and welcoming community. Yes, absolutely. Here too, we always just try to help each other out and support each other as well. Ko ano to? Hindi ko yata nakbuhat to. Ano yung sabi nila kay M? Sabi niya. So, so I sabi ni Mali. So I looked for a Brutus Monroe embossing powder and ended up buying a different item. <laughs> that always so, happens. You know? siya sa Kera, eh siguro wala. So she ended up buying a different item. Good for you, batchmate. That always happens. Yeah. Happy finds, right? Happy finds. If you're happy when you know it, and you know it, clap your hands. Alam mo, sasabihin ko na nga rin yun eh. I saw her comment on IG. How's your IG pala, Lala? Oh, my non-existent IG, guys. I'm so sorry. If you try to look for me in IG, I'm there. It's like maybe nine posts. Sorry. We need to upload things on your IG. Yeah, I'm not very active in IG. I'm sorry. Tina has been like, oh, nga, Tina, no? Next week nga, sige nga. I'll start next week, guys. Promise. Okay, I'll try to post at least once a week. <laughs> Pwede na ba yung once a week? Pwede na ba yun, guys? 
Okay, hold on. Where are my sentiments? Wait lang, guys. I'm trying to look for my sentiments. I am by one. I cannot find it. Yes. Okay. Are you in the craft room? Are you in your Are you in your craft room? Yes. Don't worry, guys. I'm still here. I'm just trying to look for a sentiment that would fit. Hold on. How's your week, guys? We finally saw Top Gun yesterday napanood ko na rin sa wakas with Lala and Marie Top Gun Maverick Kaya ang aking mga sentiments. See, when you're not looking for it, it's just lying around. But when you actually cannot be found. <laughs> yes, he is. Still. It. And of course, because Lala insisted on parking in Ikea instead of Conrad, where we watched a movie, we went to Ikea again. And I said, I'm not gonna buy anything in Ikea. Oh yeah, that those famous lines? So what happened? <laughs> well, konti lang naman yung amount ng pinamili ko. Oh, in fairness. Yes, yes. They didn't buy a lot naman, in fairness. Diba nagre-reklamo ko, why always IKEA? <laughs> why IKEA? Because guys, I, I don't wanna spend na eh. Kaso pag nandun ka na, and you don't have a list of what you want to buy, that's, that's risky. But I do have. You had the list of what to buy? Yeah, I needed to buy this food stool. Is that the only thing you bought? No. But at least. <laughs> Ayan. Oh, there you are. Hi, yes, Art. Ayan. Si Yes, naku mahiyain din si Yes. I've been, you know, begging Yes to please be a guest. Oo nga, actually, Nazy, lahat kayo tinatag ako. Si Batchmate, Marie, Tina, KM, lahat kayo actually. Thank you for tagging me. 
hopefully one of these days I will put something in my IG. Don't don't give up on me, okay? Submitted mine using the only two alcohol inks I have in my stash. Oh, great! Thank you, Sis Judy. Ayan and yes, I just saying hi to everybody as well. Ito pala si Nazy. Hi, Nazy. Hi, si Miss Christine. Sayang, I can't find my heat gun and alcohol. Kulang na sa time. Next time na lang. Yes po. No worries. Tom Cruise is swoon worthy. Ayan. Opo. Sigaw lang naman ako ng sigaw. <laughs> Tayo yung maingay dun. I was like screaming, like, Tina, is he going to die? No, I don't know. No, no, I have my tissue ready. Like, no, please don't die. Ay, grab it, talaga, guys. Pero may ibang na no noot sa likod natin eh. Pero para si ng zombies, no, ang tahimik. Oh, hindi itay ko nang alang pagalita na ako eh. Gaganyan nina ako. Quiet. Ganyan, ganyan. I couldn't stay quiet. It's like, especially nung parang yung ano na, di ba? Ay, sige, bawal pala. Baka mag, mga hindi pa nakakanoon. Basta be ready, guys. If you plan to watch it. Hold on to your seats. Super awesome. You know what? The creator of the first Top Gun is suing the producers of the Top Gun Maverick. Why? Because they didn't ask for his permission. Because that's like a sequel, de ba? To the first one. Oh wow! A producer si Tom. Ano di ba? Yeah, nga eh. Yeah. Ew. May ganong levels. Yes. Usong-usong ngayon ang mga ganyan. Oo, pera din yun kasi. Okay, it's almost 10. One minute to 10, guys. Wala na. Wala na. Nilinis ko lang yung image ko dito. Tinanggal ko lang yung ano, loob. My gosh, yung mga inks went into my nails. The insides of my nails. Ang tagal niyan. Oo nga eh. Sorry naman. Hiyaan mo na. It's okay. I'll just explain. Alcohol ink. I was doing art. I was doing art. Ito lang yung natapos ko. <laughs> Kinat-cut ko lang sila. Oh, para mawala man. yung white. But... Very so, detailed pa si cutting. Cool. Okay, guys. I'm almost done as well. Just the things. Nagutom ako. May pagkain ko. Saan mo nabasa yun that they're suing the original? I heard it in the news, I think. Wala ako sa camera. <laughs> Dali lang, guys. Masubo lang ako. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ayaw, dumikit.
I want this on black paper. Okay, and then I'll just add some. I'm super duper almost done, guys. Bear with me. I'll just add some bling bling bling. Where is it? See? When you need it, you can find it. When you don't need it, it's there. Hi, hi, hi. Was wondering, Miss Tina, if a movie night talaga highlight ng lakad nyo yesterday? <laughs> oh, the IKEA window shopping. <laughs> Uy, hindi. Talagang yung movie. Promise. Yun talaga. Ako movie talaga. Yun talaga naman, di ba, Tina? As in, talagang one hour lang tayong nag, nag, ano, nag Ikea. Promise, guys. One hour lang kami. Hmm, nag-timer ako. Pero Yung ano... Yung joke yun. Mahaba lang yung pagbayad part. Talagang movie lang talaga ang gusto ko doon. But when we got to Moa area, di galing kami Skyway ni Lala, no? Ah, yeah. Ikwento ba? Ni Lala, magpapark akong Ikea. Sa Ikea na ako magpapark. Sunod-sunod yun, guys. <laughs> Nanggan di ako sumagot. Sa, sa Ikea na tayo magpark, ha? Pwede ba sa Ikea na? <laughs> Yeah, because I have an ulterior motive, right? Because, because, because you're supposed to park in Conrad in Esmeson. Because you're IKEA. Because the plan. Coach, you're the driver. And then I realized, yes, I'm the driver, so I can, you know, park anywhere I want. But of course, I I still ask permission, right? Na wala ka namang magagawa. <laughs> Oo nga, just for the sake of asking lang. Pero yeah, sunod-sunod din sunod la. Asking. At least I ask. No. Come on, come on, come on. My God, guys, so, oh. ito pa pala ba na-open ito? Ano, sis? Itong binili ko kay Jo, hindi ko pa pala na-open. Pwes, gagamitin kita ngayon. Ang dami nilang submissions in fairness. Like, si KM yata 4, si Batchmate 3. Oh, ang dami. So easy for you guys. Pero gusto ko dark. Huwag ko ng light. I think that has to do for now. I like this. I have a mistake here. Wait a minute. I'll be pulling out the submissions 
for from Discord. Again, Nea, thank you so much for bringing in the Alton New um, inks, alcohol inks. They're really very nice. So if you guys want to get this alcohol inks, um, it's available at my little attic studio. Okay, all the links uh, to the store is in the description down below. Okay, so there you go. Ayan. Okay, so I will just leave Christina for a while. Where are you going? I'm gonna do the ano, the raffle. Okay. Because you're gonna leave. No, I'm just gonna leave you in the scene with uh, okay. you. Okay, I'm just gonna do the team. Bye. All right. So I'm back here, but I need to. Okay. Do this. Okay. Oh, turn this camera off first. Oh, it's upside down. Let me see. Let me move this one first. Okay, turn around, turn around. There you go. How messy is my table, right? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right, so let's turn the camera off first. So I can bring in... I can bring in Discord. And Will of Names. Okay, so Will of Names go here. Okay, hold on, guys. I'm just putting the Will of Names. And now I'm getting into Discord. Discord. There. Okay, and let's bring in a screen. Whoop. Okay, there you go. So let's bring in Discord first. Okay. Discord first, Discord. Okay, let's go to Mommy Guide. And let's do the Timbahai. Okay, hold on, guys. I'm making it a little bit. Okay, so let us okay start with okay. So these are from the previous um episode, which was last week. I need a pen to actually write down the names of our participants for tonight. Okay, so for the winner. Okay, there you go. Okay, let me see. Make it bigger, bigger, bigger. Okay, and then where's my background music? Ganda naman yan. I can see it. Which one sis? Yung nandyan sa screen. Discord ba yan? Yeah, this is the uh, this is batchmates. Ganda, ganda Marie. Okay, hold on, I'm trying to make it smaller. Hold on. All right, so maybe I need to make it. Okay, hold on, guys. I wasn't able to fix this earlier. I should have fixed this earlier. Oops, go down. There you go. There you go. Okay. So first entries by batchmate Marie. Okay, for oh yeah, naman na. for always being there for me. Thanks. Ayan. So alcohol ink na yata ito kasi remember she has naman alcohol ink, right? Yes. Ayan, yes. That's Batchmate's first one. And this is our second one. Uh, Just wanted and, to say. And mine, then, mine, mine. Mine, 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 mine. Okay, Marie. Batchmate. Okay, that's second. 
And the third one from Batchmate is this one. This awesome flower. Oh, look at that details on that one, right? All right. Thank you, Batchmate, for being also the first one to submit tonight. She submitted at 9.06 p.m. When we were actually just starting. <laughs> and, of course, we have KM. KM Heart Made. Okay, so yun po ang follow and in the like natin. Okay, KM Heartmaid. So if you are not yet subscribed to her, also to Marie. Marie Michelle Vicente is her YouTube channel. Okay, so now this is uh, this is KM. Surround yourself with things you love. Alright, so if you can see, okay, that one, diba? very simple, tignan, pero napaka- Ganda. Okay, may wow factor talaga. Alright, and this is, this this one is the one that uh, KM did that somehow simulates our project which is coloring using alcohol inks. Okay, the next um, uh, projects that I will show you are actually some amazing alcohol artworks where KM is really known for in our community. Ayan. So, ito po yung kanyang next submission. Look at that. Yes. So, she has actually big versions of this paintings. Okay. But this one is a card version. Okay. So, that's actually a play of alcohol, of different alcohol inks and mixatives. Okay, so hindi lang siya basta random. Meron siya talagang process. So, this is something that she creates, you know, as, as, it takes time. As you know, um, the fumes, okay, and then she does this outside. So, hopefully one of these days we can have her back and then she can tell you her process. Ayan. So, that's one. And then there's another one with a different color palette. There you go. Nice. You know, to actually create that splotches where you have, you know, rivers of gold, that's hard to achieve. Easier, uh, easy to look, but difficult to actually achieve. Alright, and then finally, this one, a different color palette again. So there you go. Super awesome, diba po? Tina One Kenobi is actually a proud owner already of one of KM's um, art. Artwork, okay. So, ilan nga yung sis KM? One, two, three, four. Four entries for tonight for sis KM. Alright, next we have Doc Ree. Of course, Doc Ree, maraming maraming salamat for joining us last Saturday on Tina One Kenobi stream. Yes, nag part 2 po kami last Saturday. At kasama namin si Doctor ng 1 o'clock. Ayan. This is her. Take, okay, so she also heat embossed and stamped, okay, the image and then colored it in with uh, alcohol inks and ayan, nagka, tapos niligyan niya ng, um, she attached them to the card with the use of eyelets. Ayan. Thanks, Dokri. Okay. Isa lang pala kay Dokri, akala ko dalawa. And then we have Nazy. Okay, who still, I think, still has promos up to... Tapos na ba, Nazy? O meron pa this weekend? Ayan. Progress, not perfection. Ayan. And another one. Don't be like the rest of them, darling. Alright. Be yourself. So, ika nga. And the last one. Happiness looks gorgeous on you. Oh, that's so nice. I love, I love the sentiments and the coloring. Thank you so much, Nazy. That's Scrapbooky Crafter, guys. Okay, so her name, uh, her YouTube name is Scrapbooky Crafter. Okay, and then KM is KM Heartmade. Si Doc Ree is Mono and Use. Ayan. So in case you are not yet following each other, I hope that you do. So, okay, si Miss Jel, ito na po ang ating, uh, uh, what do you call this, um, stencil um, guru, yeah, so to speak. Uh -oh, she creates customized um, stencils if you are not familiar yet. Okay, so there you go. So, thank you. Okay. Yan, di ba? May stencil feels. Of course. And another color. Different color palette naman. So, same. 
Uh, but different. Uh, same lang yung kanyang ginamit na stencil. Okay, but different color palette. Thank you. Okay, both are thank you cards. There you go. Thank you, Miss Jill. Okay, and then number... Oh, meron pa palang isa. Oh, pareho lang. Ah, nadoble lang. Okay. And then we have Sis Judy. Okay, making use of the only... Okay, the, the only two alcohol ink she has. Okay, and it's from Little Birdie. Ayan. And I think prima yung kanyang stamp na ginamit. Mm. If I am not mistaken. Looks like it. Oh, oh, ayan. Oh, diba? Monochromatic ang peg. Oh, diba? Why not? Very nice. Very, very nice. And eto naman. Oh, diba? Pinag-combine niya yung dalawa. Oh, diba? Tatlo entry ni Judy. Maaga ka yata ngayon, Miss Judy. Nakahabol. Alright, let me see. Was that the last? Let me check. Is that the last? Yes, that was the last entry for Team Bahay for tonight. Again, a fast... Oh, oops, I missed something. Oh, meron pa si Batchmate. Batchmate, sorry, muntikan ko nang mamiss. Award ako. Ay, ano ba? Bakit hindi ko maiano? Ayan. So, meron pa palang isang entry si Batchmate. Si Miss Marie. Ayan. So, Marie is for them. Okay. Ang nice, di ba? Remember, um, I think the Craft, Create, and Swap Club admin had their special watercolor class with Janus, the erudite artist, uh, last weekend. And this was her awesome work. Finished work. Thank you, Batchmate. Ganda for sharing your work. Alright. So, that is the submissions for Team Bahay for tonight. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining and spending a little bit of your time to actually create the projects you have for tonight. And so, now we're going to do the Team Bahay. Hold on. I'll just fix it. Okay, because it's... Okay, Wheel of Names. Correct. Team Bahay winner will receive 500 pesos? Yes. From Tina Wan Kenobi. Joke. <laughs> <laughs> From, of course, um, our partner for tonight, My Little Attic. Again, um, all the alcohol inks that we use and the paper uh, available at My Little Attic. Okay, so we have Marie, Marie, ay ano yun, bakit may ganun? Marie, eh, ano ba? Marie, 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 okay, and then the next one is KM, she submitted four. Okay, one, two, three, four, and then we have Dokri, K1, and then we have Nazi. One, two, three. Okay, three lang pala. Okay, and then we have gel. Two, and then we have Judy. Okay, guys, did I miss anyone? Okay, in the chat, can you please check if I miss anyone? Okay, Tom. Okay, KM. I used the uh, ohuhu on my submitted entry. Okay, does that qualify as alcohol ink work? Pwede, kasi nakalagay talaga doon, guys. Meron din ako ng little birdie na yun, eh. Nakalagay talaga alcohol ink. Yes. Mono in use with popcorn. <laughs> Soon worthy with popcorn daw, Tina. <laughs> Hi, Christine from Batchmate Marie. Was wondering nga, uh, Miss Tina, if movie... Ay, hindi. Nasabi na pala kanina. Ah, Mami Lala, I like your idea na initial ang ilagay. So pretty. I thank you po. I'll tell you din po yan na dye at saka stamp. Miss Marie Park, popcorn with a straw? <laughs> Hindi. Talagang nagtanggal siya ng mask at kumain siya ng popcorn. Ayan. I use the card storage, Batchmate and Tina. So happy with my purchase. Oh, that's nice. Batchmate, ilan ang, how many cards fit in the, in the container? Napuno mo na. 
Master Red, salamat po. Why? Oh, I smell a lawsuit happening. Oo nga. That's crazy. It's probably because the new Top Gun movie is heaps better than the original one. Oh, you've seen it also, Nathan? We saw it yesterday. We had a movie date. With Tina Wan Kenobi and I and Marie. Grabe ang tiyaga ng pagkat ni Tina. Yes, Miss Tina, may coordinating die set po yan. Salute for fussy cutting those details. KM, kasi she had to leave na. Oo. Because, uh, as you know, we're not in the same place anymore. So, she had to leave. Kaya, hindi niya na na-cut. Na, na Lovely cards, Miss Lala. Thank you, KM. Lala and Tina, I love your love show. Your beautiful spirit. Oh, thank you so much. Um, Angie, Angie, it's 10, 11, 12. Oh my goodness, it's 122, guys, for them. So, sorry. 100%, I agree with Angie. Thank you so much, guys. We're all, almost done. Agree. Lala, they are amazing cards. Thank you. Miss Lala, just take a photo of your Crafty Night projects and post on IG the following day. You'll have two posts every week. <laughs> Tamad ko, KM. Eh. Oo nga, promise. Agree. Thank you, KM, for, for that suggestion. Agree. Love your paper pad, Miss Tina. Ah, there you go, super flu. Okay, yours, Tina. Pretty Marie, nang gawa mo. I agree. Thanks, KM. You know, guys, when KM, you know, um, Parang compliments our alcohol ink work. Nakakataba ng puso, promise. <laughs> Kuya Faith, hello po, Mami Lala, Mami Guide. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you so much for dropping by, Kuya Faith. Si Kuya Faith na palaging busy supporting everybody. Grabe, ang ganda ng mga alcohol artworks ni KM. Indeed, grabe. Hi, Kuya Faith. There you go. Thank you, Miss Marie. Ayan. So, now it's thanking everybody. Ayan. Ang, ha ang dami na palang nasa chat. The last one, Miss Judy. Okay, the last one, Miss Judy. Okay. Until July 10. Oh, guys, may up to July 10 pa pala ang mga raffle at events ni Scrapbookie Crafter. Ayan, that's lazy. Yes, Miss KM, the last one. Ayan na. Hi, Master Red. You don't mention it. Uh, I will whenever I can. Ayan. Thank you, Dockery. Ayan. Okay, am, am, am I uh, updated already? Mami Lala, kinabahan ako, ng, ako sa guru. Wala pa po ako sa level nyo. Ay, ano ba yan? Hindi, basta pagdating ng stencil, alam namin, ikaw na yan. We'll PM you, Miss Judy and Miss Jell. Ayan. And I am tall boy, guys. This, guys, this is my friend, Corey Sanders. I am tall boy. He's also a content creator on YouTube. His, his channel is about tech tech that is useful every day for us guys yeah so if you can also check out i am tall boy nope not yet one fourth lang ang alam parang madami kang malalagay batch wow one fourth pa lang goodbye marie thank you so much hi i am tall boy hi angie and nathan this is cory i am tall boy is cory hi master red he also does uh, interviews and uh, talks about tech Amazing, amazing tech. Ayan. Hi, I'm Tallboy from Marie as well. All right, guys, this is it. If nobody is objecting to the names in the um, Wheel of Names, okay, so let's raffle out the winner for tonight's Team Bahai or Home Team. Thank you so much, guys, for joining. And the winner gets a 500 peso GC from My Little Attic Studio. All right, winner for tonight is. Let me see. Too close to call. KM! All right, as if kailangan pa niya ng additional alcohol ink. Yes, kasi actually ginagamit niya. So, congratulations, KM Heartmade! Again, guys, don't forget, KM Heartmade, her very first. Okay, punta na kay Tina. Okay, Tina, face cam. KM Heartmate is gonna have her very first, you know, premiere na video. Okay, this Friday. This KM, please put in the chat what time. Uh -oh. And Anak Sammy, can you, can you please put uh, KM Heartmate's link? Okay, if you can. Alright, so again, guys, thank you so much. Um, Tina, would you like to show them your work first? No audio. Naka-mute. 
Okay. Nililayout ko pa lang, guys. Hindi ko pa, hindi pa final yan. Pero, meron pang ibang elements. So, parang ganyan lang siya. Oo. Nice, ba? Diba? So, scrapbook layout to, no? 12 by 12, eh. Yes. Yes. Oh, oh. I love it. I love it. May nagmamind na. <laughs> Ayan. Don't forget to send me your flyer so I can promote your show. Oh, thank you so much, Corey. Again, guys, he goes live every week with amazing guests and content. Doon ko nga nalaman yung about yung mga, alam mo yung pag nawawala yung mga gadgets mo or stuff, pwede kang may, para, parang, parang air tag, something like that. Yan, sa kanya ko nalaman. Alright, and then, also teen, um, Wow, oh, oh, congrats, KM. Yes, yes, ayan. We have a new content creator, finally. Oo, oh, matagal na po siyang merong YouTube channel. Pero finally ngayon, intentional na ang pag upload ni sis KM. Ito na ang umpisa. So I hope guys that you support KM Heartmade. Magkita-kita tayo sa kanyang premiere this Friday. 3 p.m. Okay. guys. 3 p.m. Philippine time. So I Am Tallboy is asking, how much is... 500 pesos in your country. Okay, 500 pesos US is $10. About one movie. <laughs> it's it's $10, about one yes. Movie. OMG, thank you. Congrats, KM. Congrats, Miss KM. Yes, congratulations, KM, for being Team Bahay for tonight. Please don't forget to give love by hitting the like button on this stream. Maraming, maraming salamat. Thank you. Congratulations, KM, from Nathan. 500 pesos is $10. Thank you, Nazy. And you aren't subscribed yet? Please hit subscribe. Yes, subscribe to everybody in the chat. I uh, I promise you, all their channels, uh, but some don't have content yet. But maybe that will, you know, push them to make more content because they're shy. Okay, they're still shy to create YouTube videos. Ayan. Ay, wow, ang bilis ng layout. Ayan. Love it, Tina. Si ang bilis daw. Congratulations, KM! Woohoo! So pretty, Tina. This is for Tina. Ang pretty, Miss Tina. Just subscribe. Thank you, Thank you so much, Tallboy. Ayan. Nice layout, Miss Tina. Congrats. Oh, guys, mag-subscribe din kayo kay I am Tallboy, ha? Oo, oh, oh, o kaya mabait yan. Beautiful, beautiful, Miss Masay? The lab tech show is Wednesday. Okay, here it is, guys. Here it is. So, the lab tech show, that's the name of his YouTube channel. The, the lab tech show airs Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern. That's That means it's 8 a.m. Thursday morning. Eh, tama. Thursday morning, 8 a.m. for us. So, tomorrow, guys. Tomorrow. Okay, so, okay, Corey, I'll be there. So guys, see you tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. If you are awake at the Lab Tech Show tomorrow morning. Ayan. Thank you so much, Miss Lala and Miss Tina. You both inspire. Thank you so much, KM. We try. We try our best. We're not experts, but you know, we're just enjoying what we're doing, right? No, so that's both, the most we important. We both inspire her to finally do YouTube uploading Who? videos. Who? KM, sabi niya. To upload videos, to inspire her to ah, finally Ah, okay. Do. You both inspire me to finally do it. Yes! Lahat kayo! I will not stop until all of you are content creators. Right? <laughs> so we will just follow everybody. Thanks so much, Ms. Lala. Very welcome po. Had fun again tonight. Awesome! Awesome! Thank you. So just continue to join us every Wednesdays and Saturdays for Crafty Nights. But I actually do have um, other segments within the week. Normally, it's Monday, Tuesday, or Thursdays for the other. And this mm -hmm. Sunday, finally. Sorry, I, I didn't go live last Sunday. I got lazy. <laughs> but this Sunday, I will. I'm gonna go live again on Amazon Live. Thank you so much, guys. Actually, I am now uh, on the insider. I know, not inside. Yes, insider level. Mm -hmm. So, I moved up already. So, thank you for those who supported, who watched, who bought. Okay, through uh, Mommy Guide Inc.'s Amazon Live um, Influencer page. Thank you so much. And I hope that you join me again this Sunday. Ayan. And 8 p.m. po your, this Sunday. Did you show na your cards? Ay, di pa ba? Kita naman nila. O sige guys, oh, here's my card. Okay. 
<laughs> Daya just, mo. Just fast. Just fast. Okay? Okay. I'll just show my cards really, really fast. If only I can see where my camera is. Is this it? Okay. This is it. Okay. Oh, dami. Okay. So. All right. So, remember, guys, I made this... Uh, um, the stamp looks uh, actually they're together, but I cut them so I could layer it. So I cut it into two because this is just an A2 card. Okay, so this is a um, dry embossed card that I ink with uh, distress oxide. Mm -hmm. All right, and everything here is actually alcohol ink, uh, colored by alcohol ink, and then I spritz with alcohol 12 to 14 inches away. Okay, and then just added some, you know, faux pearls. Okay, and then it says, thanks. All right, the next one is this one, a Father's Day card. Okay, so this one is, remember, I did gel printing. These are my excess, the rejects I, I used as a background. Okay, and then this is a die cut frame, open frame. And then this is uh, uh, the one I made. Remember, I colored it and I butchered the, the coloring. I said, so ugly, right? So what I did was eventually, you know, um, added, uh, removed the excess, the super, you know, excessive green pigments I placed there. And then just, you know, now it's a little bit, you know, they're dark green, lighter green. So, and then just added some faux um, gold pearls over there. It says, number one, dad, for the greatest, okay, for the greatest dad, yan eh. yan, for the greatest dad. So, it's a cup, okay, winner. All right, and then I had, you know, I just uh, maximized the page. So I, I stamped two. Okay, so this is basically what it looks like. Yung background mo. Okay, and the background again. These are just yeah. you know uh, from my gel, uh, gel, Ganda. jelly plate uh, episode. Ganda. These are excess. These I love are it. The rejects actually. Okay, and this one is the background is uh what they call this uh, i used a stencil and uh texture texture paste and then just added uh distress oxide and uh you know um what they call this uh also added some spray okay and then for uh and tag sequins where the hell okay. did you find time to make all that Good edit the video to happen. there you go so that's it and i think one of these cards has that yeah you're the best okay so there you go that's it those are my works for tonight guys yeah. so thank you again tina for spending the whole afternoon with me creating all this and learning alcohol art alongside me yes we both were learning you know we were watching then it's uh you know uh <laughs> workflow okay how we're supposed to video. do it at the same time make it our own there you go La la love. Thank you so much, guys. Certified live seller ka na. Oo nga. <laughs> In embrace ko na talaga KM. Yes, thank you so much again. Guys, I need 2,000 follows in Amazon Live to reach the highest tier, which is, uh, I forgot the, the highest level, what it's called. But right now, mm -hmm. I'm in insider level, and that's just one in more. A list? Yeah, the A-list, yes. A -list. So, to reach A-list, I need 2,000 follows. I now have 26. So, <laughs> just 1,924 more follows. So, if you can head on to Amazon, it's amazon.com slash shop, S-H-O-P, slash Mommy Guide Inc. And then, there's a follow button there. So, you can follow me there as well. Mm -hmm. Ayan. Uh, am na nga po pala name ko. <laughs> KM. <laughs> so pretty, Miss Lala. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, guys, for, you know, for the love that you've been showing me and Tina. I know it's not the greatest of projects, you know, but we love and enjoy doing what we're doing, right? So, Tina, say, invite them over as well to your channel. Yes. So guys, if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, um, please do follow me on YouTube as well. Same handle as you see here, Tina One Kenobi. Uh, it's different. My content is variety. It's a variety of Lego, travel, crafts, 
and everything. Yes. <laughs> Things so that you know, Tina it. loves to do. Okay, she has amazing videos, guys. She is a great editor. So uh, if you have time, okay, you don't have much time. She has shorts. If you have more time, she also have live streams that you can watch on replay. All right. So with that, thank you so so much, guys. This Saturday we're gonna be having papel at iba pa as our featured partner. And Miss Jo said that the theme she wants for this Saturday is. Father's Day. So we're supposed to create scrapbook layouts for Father's Day. Okay, so we will show you the materials that we will be um, using uh, probably hopefully by tomorrow. Okay, if I can get the photo or the, the stuff already. Alright, so there you go. Thank you tonight, Mami Lala and Miss Tina. Thank you, the Lego that was so patiently made together. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Angie. It's a blessing to finally, you know, meet you and for being here. I know it's almost 2 p.m., 2 a.m. for you guys. So please, please do sleep. Uh, thank you so much for being here. And I hope to see you again this Saturday on Mommy Guide Inc.'s Crafty Night. Again, at, on Friday, don't forget, uh, KM, 3 p.m., her, her very first video premiere. Bye! Bye! Good night! Good night! Thank you again so much! God bless! See you Saturday!